It's a noirish, sort of gothic Appalachian story. Kind of a film noir western, like a private eye movie in the Deep South. It's about how a life can unravel in a split second. He's a lifelong hunter whose everyday poaching is probably the only thing that keeps him off the breadline. One day he's out poaching, hunting on conservancy land, and he takes a fateful shot. He kills an 18-year-old girl um, who's hiding in the brush. He's a hunter, and he knows how to handle guns, but he's never killed anybody before. He, he chooses, out of desperation, to conceal the accident and then to make a second, even worse choice, maybe to take this money that, that, is, that he's found. What John doesn't realize when he takes the money is that it is connected to some very dark forces. And very quickly, these people close in on him. I'm right here! I'm right here! He's a hillbilly, He's a, you know, and he gets thrown into this world, this kind of film noir western world. Sam Rockwell is one of the finest actors you know, around and someone who I always hoped I would be able to work with. Sam, I haven't told him this, is one of my favorite actors. So the fact that I get to do my scenes with him was, um, was a real pleasure. It's been incredible to work with him because he's really, he just, he engages every single take and he kind of, he, he, make you, you, he makes you better. He's one of the greats. He's such an eminently competent actor. He's got a lot of chops. I was watching him on the set. He just doesn't miss a beat. Says here you had trouble keeping a job ever since your father lost his farm. No, sir. I've had plenty of jobs. Plenty of jobs. It's not for long. Dagger Pitt is um, a lawyer in this small town. Simon says you're cheaper than the rest of them in town. That mean you ain't as good? <laughs> Compensation takes many forms, John. Name one size money. It's a, he's a bizarre character if one of the requirements of the role was that he be sort of bizarre so that Sam's character is um, suspicious of him. Where's that old three-colored hound of yours? He's usually all slobbering up on me time I get here. You shut this, you are what you got here. It's a landscape inhabited by a lot of wild mountain folk and uh, Simon is probably among the wildest. <laughs> Here he is. Come on, y'all. Come on. You can't What the hell are you doing here? He's an interesting uh, loner figure in that he operates on a certain personal loneliness, but I think also there's a cultural loneliness. I ain't got no friends, John. Except you. I am so blessed with this cast. Sam Rockwell, William H. Macy, Jeffrey Wright, and then you add to the mix Jason Isaacs and Joe Anderson and Kelly Riley and Ophelia Lovebond and all these terrific actors. It was a dream, um, really. Action! I think everybody, no matter what world you're from or what segment of the world you're from, can put themselves in John Boone's situation and say, what would I have done? I think that people are going to get a lot out of this film and not just uh, 
a gripping, visceral ride of a movie that's something that's sort of edge of your seat, kind of suspense thriller. But it will resonate, I think, on a deeper level because it's a, there's something authentic to not only the storytelling, but particularly the performances. How'd they come by this money? How'd they come by?